Here's a quick lesson on making nectar for your hummingbird feeders. The formula is one part sugar to four parts water. Be sure to use just granulated sugar. Don't use honey, don't use brown sugar, don't use raw sugar. Just plain granulated sugar. So in this case today, I'm taking one cup of sugar, putting it in a big pot, and four cups of water. Turn it on high heat and let it come to a boil. At the beginning you want to stir around the water and the sugar a bit so the sugar dissolves and that way it will be easier at the end. You won't get any clumps of sugar. So just give that a nice stir until you see the sugar dissolve. Now nectar has come to a boil. Let it boil for about 30 seconds to a minute and then turn it off. Now you can let the nectar cool and at least to room temperature if not cooler and after that just store it in a bottle or in a pitcher in your refrigerator. I just like to use these old uh, water bottles that I recycle and they make, make it easy to pour nectar into the hummingbird feeder. Um, be sure to check your hummingbird feeder uh, nectar in the refrigerator even after you've had it in there a week or so. It can develop uh, mold and get cloudy. If that's the case, be sure to throw it out and just start a new batch. And that's all there is to it. Just remember, one part sugar, four parts water. No honey, no raw sugar, no brown sugar, and don't use red dye in your nectar. It's not at all necessary to attract the hummingbirds because most hummingbird feeders have red on them. And there is some evidence that red dye is uh, unhealthy for hummingbirds. So just plain old white nectar will do the job.